So Google just dropped an AI video generator that outshines top models like Sora, Pika 2.0, and Runway ML. Aside from creating clips from text and image prompts, VO3 understands motion, lighting, camera angles, and even storytelling. This tool performs at the level of human videographers and filmmakers. And the craziest part? It allows you to add artificial and realistic audio to your videos. Stick around because in the next few minutes, I'll show you the future of video creation. You don't want to miss this if you're into content creation, filmmaking, tech, or enjoy cool stuff. For a quick context, what is VO3 exactly? It's Google DeepMind's latest and most advanced AI video generator, and it's not your average text-to-video model. Think of it as your film director, VFX supervisor, and cinematographer combined into a neural network. Prompting it with a few words or reference images, VO3 can create full-length cinematic quality video sequences. The timing couldn't be better. Why? Because video content now dominates every platform, from YouTube and TikTok to games and the metaverse. Let's rewind a little through the journey of AI video generators. Runway ML was one of the first to make AI video feel accessible. It produced some stylized short clips, but let's be real, the movement wasn't smooth and the coherence was poor. Then came Gen 2 by Runway, better fidelity, more realism, but still limited to short bursts. Then, boom, OpenAI announced Sora. That one made jaws drop with near photorealistic clips, and the catch? It's not available to the public, still behind the scenes. All these tools showed us glimpses of the future, but they were missing some important features. Long-form coherence, story flow, multi-shot control, and audio. That's where VO3 shines. Alright, what makes VO3 stand out from other AI video generators? First off, it doesn't just create captivating visuals. It builds a sequence of shots with visual storytelling in mind. VO3 understands scene continuity. It simulates camera dynamics like a drone flying over mountains or a handheld shot in a narrow alley. And last but not least, it follows prompts closely and reacts to lighting, shadows, weather, and physics. Imagine typing, create a photorealistic video of a knight walking through a medieval village at dusk. VO3 generates the visuals with background noises and matches the time of day, the ambient lighting, and dust particles floating in the air. The torches flicker realistically and the shadows move based on light sources. According to the Google DeepMind product vice president Eli Collins, VO3 excels from text and image prompting to real-world physics and accurate lip-syncing. It can also incorporate audio that includes dialogue between characters as well as animal sounds. Google says it can interpret style cues, too. Do you want your scene shot like a Wes Anderson movie or in the gritty style of a Christopher Nolan thriller? That's not a problem anymore. Just ask away and VO3 will deliver the video to your taste. To prove this point on AI benchmarks, VO3 beats top video generation models in head-to-head -head comparisons of outputs rated by humans. These participants evaluated 1,003 prompts and the respective videos of each model using a benchmark dataset released by Meta. VO3 achieved a top score in text alignment, visual quality, audio-video alignment, visually realistic physics, and overall preference. Phew! Okay, let's geek out a bit. How does VO3 work? VO3 uses a diffusion model, like the same tech powering image generators Dolly and Midjourney, but on steroids. Instead of generating single frames, VO3 generates motion-aware sequences. However, the tool isn't a standalone AI model. It's part of something bigger called Flow, which includes Gemini, Imagine, and VO3. This is Google's first end-to-end -end AI filmmaking tool designed specifically for creatives. Flow is the ultimate studio assistant who understands your creative vision from prompt to polished cinematic scenes. With Flow, here's what happens under the hood. Prompt understanding via Gemini. When you describe a scene like a detective walks into a smoky jazz club in 1940s New York, Google's Gemini model interprets the words, nuance, tone, and implied visuals. It understands what that kind of setting feels like and what visual elements should be there. And video generation with VO3. VO3 takes that interpreted scene and generates it using its physics-aware diffusion model. It doesn't just render objects. VO3 understands motion, texture, lighting, weather, and how they interact over time. So when smoke curls under the dim lights or rain hits the cobblestone, that's VO3 working its magic. Quick pause. If you're enjoying the video, hit that like button. It helps push this video to more curious minds. And if you want more tech and AI breakdowns like this, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. Let's get back to Flow and the crazy stuff it's doing behind the scenes. Element Design with Imagine If you need specific characters or visual elements, Imagine jumps in to create unique faces, costumes, objects, or environments you can drop right into your scene. It's your concept artist on demand.
Scene Coherence and Camera Control Unlike older models that spit out a few seconds of video, Flow lets you build entire scenes. You can add camera movements, create new angles, edit transitions, and keep everything visually consistent, like the lighting, shadows, and object continuity from shot to shot. Asset Reuse and Importing If you've got your characters or 3D models, you can bring them in. Flow lets you reuse custom assets across multiple scenes. This is huge for building episodic content or keeping brand visuals consistent and cinematic polish in everyday language. With Flow, you don't need to be a technical wizard. Just describe what you want in plain English. A drone shot of a surfer riding a giant wave at sunrise, and Flow will handle everything from the splash physics to the lens flare. So yeah, it's not just about creating video. It's about directing, refining, and scaling it. Google has built a digital cinematographer, editor, and effects artist that works off your words. And VO3 is the visual brain. In case you're wondering what data was used to train VO3, DeepMind trained it on a large data set. I'm talking about movies, documentaries, surveillance footage, and maybe YouTube videos. It's learned not just how things look, but how they move, how light changes across time, how objects respond to gravity, speed, and collisions. Plus, it uses a transformer-based architecture to keep track of everything happening across frames. That's how it maintains coherence over time. There are no random visual jumps and objects teleporting out of frame. Now let's talk about impact. What are the practical use cases? Who benefits from this? Filmmakers. Creators can now shoot sci-fi scenes, period dramas, or dreamlike shorts with zero crew. Google has collaborated with a few early adopters to test flow in the real world. Dave Clark created shorts like Battalion and Ninja Punk using AI. Henry Dobrez is using VO2 to tell emotional sci-fi stories. Meanwhile, Juni Lau explores identity and relationships in films like Dear Stranger. Marketers. Do you want a cinematic ad without a production budget? Describe your product and mood and watch VO3 cook up your ad narrative. Educators. VO3 can make complex topics like black holes or ancient history visual and engaging. All you need to do is prompt it with text and clips. Game designers. Game designers can prototype narrative scenes without hiring a studio, saving time and money. And content creators like YouTubers and TikTokers. They've started enhancing their storytelling with visuals made on the fly. A creator on a laptop could produce content that once required a Hollywood team. Now, you might be wondering, how are the industry pros reacting, and what are the future implications? VFX artists are both amazed and a bit worried. Some see it as a tool to speed up pre-visualization. Others worry it might replace junior-level roles. Marketing agencies are already exploring how this could slash production timelines. And educators? They're excited. Visual storytelling, especially in complex subjects like science and history, could finally become engaging for digital natives. Expect universities and tech startups to jump on this for education technology, VR simulations, and therapy. Yes, therapy. Imagine creating exposure scenarios for anxiety treatment in hyper-realistic but safe environments. But it's not all sunshine and cinematic sunsets. Let's talk about ethics and concerns. First and foremost is deepfakes and disinformation. If this tech gets into the wrong hands, imagine the potential for fake news videos, realistic ones. What about bias and misrepresentation? What kind of data was VO3 trained on? Will it reinforce certain stereotypes? Can it accurately portray underrepresented cultures? And let's not forget about job displacement. We're not just talking about editors. What about extras, location scouts, or even storyboard artists? That's already a controversial topic on its own. Google says it's putting safety layers in place watermarks, content classifiers, and prompt moderation. But will it be enough? That's another open debate. So where's this all headed? What's next for VO3 and the AI video generation race? Google has already begun testing VO3 with select creators through their Video FX program. It's not public yet, but expect a rollout in phases. Maybe baked into YouTube Studio for content creators. Maybe even bundled with Bard or Gemini AI in the future. Meanwhile, OpenAI's Sora is on its heels. Meta has Make a Video. Runway's Gen 3 is probably cooking. The AI video race is officially on. And with Apple reportedly working on generative video, we're about to see big tech players clash. VO3 isn't just an upgrade. It opens a new era. We're no longer just asking, can AI generate video? The new question is, what will humans do when AI can direct, shoot, and edit contents on command? Now it's your turn. Drop a comment below. Do you think AI video generation tools like VO3 will empower us to create more? Or are we walking into a future where creative jobs are automated away? 
And hey, if you want to see how VO2, VO3's predecessor, stacks up against other models, I've got a video right here. Click it. If you learned something new or love seeing where tech's headed, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.